Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. I uh, just want to share with you guys my first impressions and thoughts of this new frame. Uh, it's not new, it's been here for a while, but I haven't seen much about it anywhere. It's the XY215 uh, split level uh, kit frame from Banggood. Now, there is one kind of like it. Um, it's the uh, Jeb RC Hawk and the Real AAC Hawk, but it comes in the X210 factor, like form, but um, it's just split. You got your lower arms on the bottom and then your, your back arms on the top. So this is kind of the same thing, but you get a longer, um, you just get more real estate in here to do a, a lot more. And since some people already covered that one, I just, I really didn't like that one, but this one actually really just caught my eyes. Now I can see a, a hard time uh, I think it would be pretty difficult to break this. I think it, it'll it'll be very durable compared to the other frames I, I have currently. Um, I think it might even be more durable than the uh, Real AC X210. Uh, uh, the 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 upper plate is four millimeters as well as the bottom plate here. Uh, this I believe was uh, two millimeters. I think it is. Yes, two. It's a little bit above two millimeters. And um, the amount of space you have in here, I measured it, is exactly 25 uh, millimeters in there. So that's good. Uh, the length of it uh, to actually, uh, from here to here inside, you have around uh, 95 millimeters of space, which I believe is very good. Um, also, you know, it, it doesn't come in a box. It just comes in a bag. So the first impressions weren't so great when I was taking it apart. And um, another thing I had to do was file down this part here where the camera goes in there. It, it wouldn't go in at all. So I had to file these down a little bit, these little side plates here to fit in. Now it fits perfect. Other than that, everything else aligned perfect. Uh, it comes with this top thing, but I'm not going to put it on since I always uh, lose them. And this, I think, is going to be my next build on my channel. Or I might be doing a micro build if all the parts come in by, to, to, by the end of the day today. I don't know yet, but I, I really have a good feeling it's going to be this guy right here. And, and so this right here comes pre-filed down, sanded, whatever you want to call it. So there's no sharp edges. Um, there's something I noticed. There's no real way to put your battery strap, so you're just going to have to run it off the... Uh, the, the end of this side, the, the bottom plate here, uh, so there's no cutouts or anything. Uh, but it has enough cutouts for zip ties, and if you wanted to mount, like, just it just has good enough mounting solutions. I can see myself mounting the VTX here just fine, the receiver here, the camera, and I'll still have room in there. I, I believe this is going to have good real estate, and I, I really do think it's going to perform. It's it's a true X. it's a 215 millimeter wheelbase. Now, on the side, it says it's 70 grams. But uh, I don't know if it's 70 grams or not. We're going to wait in a little bit right now. But let me just show you what else it comes with. Nothing much, really. It doesn't come with this box. That, that's just from the Emacs. Uh, it comes with this. But I am not. I don't remember if this or from another frame. But let's just put that on the side. You get a PDB. But it's not like the normal PDBs. You get it into two pieces. You get this one. And you're supposed to solder this on here. And then it has a takes a 3 to 4S. I'm not going to be using this. Um... I'm going to keep it maybe for some something else. I might find it more useful. I'll just rather stick with a regular PDB on this. If I'm going to do it. Uh, you, I got an extra side plate. Maybe this was a quality uh, check problem. But uh, that that's good. So one free side plate right there. You get that top thing for the camera that goes here. I always lose them so I don't even use them. And you get a couple nylon screws. I think they're the, uh, not sure, maybe five millimeters here, but you might need to go a little bit bigger so you could uh, fit your battery down here. So yeah, that, that's going to need that there. Uh, let's, let's, let's wait now, let's see how much it weighs. Alright, we got the scale, let's zero it out. Alright, here comes the frame. Now remember, this is without the nylon screws and without the uh, that little plate here, but I'll add that plate for you guys if anyone wants to actually use it. It's 92 grams, so and the website says it's 70 grams, and it says, oh, okay, 
and the frame kit with PDB and columns and screws 114 grams that's what it says on the on Banggood so let's add the PDB let's add this and let's add this guy uh, what am I missing here uh, no. no there's no XT60 did they give me an XT60 um, I don't think they did but that's fine so that, that's still good, it's less what they're, what they're, than what they're saying. So we have everything here now, and uh, we, we come up to 99 grams, and on the website it says 114 grams. I don't think an XT60 connector is about, what, 14, 15 grams, so uh, yeah, that, that, that ain't happening. Uh, maybe with adding the nylon, no, not even adding the nylon, that's, so I, it's 99 grams, which it's, it's very good, it's very light. Well, not that light, but it's lighter than most. I forgot the dry weight of my... LX5, but I think the LX5 was above 100 grams. So this one should do good. This one I believe is pretty good. This is gonna do just fine. So let's talk a little bit more about the appearance. Um, I'm really loving it. I, I really do. I think it's. I just wanted to try something new. I'm just sick of everything looking like the Martian. Um, you know, I was gonna get a ZMR250 again because I. I kind of wrecked my old one, but I still had the frame, but I gave it to a friend of mine and I uh, had him build one, but I'm looking for something new. That's why I got the LX5 and I got this. This What really attracted me to this is just that longer, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, longer body. Um, it just looks more sleek. Now, like I told you, the real ACX210, the, the, the Hawk and the, and the Jeb RC Hawk is basically just a copy of the X210, but the top plate is just split, you know, and it's a lot smaller here, so you don't get much room. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't have a problem with that, but, you know, people have covered it, and, um, and it just looks like the X210, just this is up top. But this one, on the other hand, is a no-name, and um, I just wanted to give it a try. It looked beautiful. And I'm glad I actually bought it. I think it was, I don't even know, maybe $34? $38. It was $38 without shipping. 38 USD, which is very good, I think. It's, 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 I would consider this at the top range of my budget for frames. Um, I don't like to go over 50 uh, unless there's going to be something super awesome or super amazing. Especially when you get a frame that weighs like 60 grams and it's going to cost you $120. Um, no, nah, I don't think I'll ever do that. I'd just rather just... I, I, I wouldn't do it because it'll just break anyways with my flying anyways this frame looks absolutely sexy to me you know it just it just looks awesome I, re I really love it I think it's just gonna look amazing um, I'm planning on putting the Dytone motors here or maybe F80 motors but I'm so scared of them and they still haven't came in they're stuck in customs so I'm just waiting for those to go through um, but it really does look awesome. I, I just constantly look at it. I have it on my desk and I just keep looking at it. I can't wait to build it. Um, now the wiring is going to be strange. I don't know if I'm going to mount the motors on the bottom or on the top. I don't know. We're going to have to figure that out once we start. But I think I'll do it on top because I don't want to have to deal with direction, orientation, and uh, some other factors I don't know about yet. Um, oh, yeah. The mounting plate, uh, the, the mounting for the FC, they're... they're long they come long so you can actually play with them and this is good and this is bad because sometimes when i put the pdb and fc it just doesn't fit right and i have to put a lot of pressure or bring a plier to bend the nylon nut to stick it in which is good so now we can just move them a little but the bad thing is what i see is once they go loose i think you're gonna have started start to have i think i'm not sure but it seems like i'll probably end up having some jitters and stuff and just we'll have to keep tightening them every once in a while <clears throat> but um, I'm glad I bought this. I am very excited about this. It's something new. I wanted to try something new. I've done the LX5 and it's this guy's turn now. So, I, I don't know. I just, when I saw it online, I saw it on videos, it just looked ugly to have a frame like this. But now, once it's in front of me, it just, it just, it just looks awesome. It looks like a Ferrari. Like, it's, it's weird. Like, the Diatone looks like a Lamborghini and this probably looks like a Ferrari. So... Yeah, I really can't wait to try it. And that's going to conclude it for my thoughts and what I've seen about this frame. And I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it or helped someone out there. Uh, wait for the upcoming build video. It'll be here tomorrow, after tomorrow maximum, hopefully. And uh, that's going to conclude it, guys. Take care. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys.